My friend Sean Vig, SeanVigShawnVigFitness.com. This is my go-to stretch routine. Been doing this stretch routine about every night for the last couple months. I mix it up quite a bit, but these are my go-to stretches. I want to do them with you. We're going to hold them for a few extra breaths. We're going to have a good time. We're going to elongate those muscles and, of course, flush out the toxins in the muscles. A lot of weightlifting, a lot of physical, physical activity creates a lot of toxins in the muscles. With the stretch, we can actually flush them out and dispose of them. Get them out of here! <laughs> do me a huge favor, head out wherever books are sold, Barnes & Noble especially, get my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press by Sean Vig or go to seanvigfitness.com. I have really been writing a lot lately. I have two brand new ebooks as well. They're somewhere here on the screen. We have Pilates for Men and 30 Days of Planks. Full books, full workouts, also recorded workouts so you can work out directly with me. All right, and make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Comment which stretch is your favorite, which one have you been doing, which stretch can't you live without. All right, let's get to my personal stretch series. It's so personal, I have to share it with everybody. And one more thing, who's, whose baby is this? We haven't really figured it out yet. Anybody know? Anybody? Okay, these are some of the stretches, my friends, I find myself doing throughout the day. You want to hold them for five to ten deep breaths. Do them anywhere, do them anytime. Let's start standing. All right, feet on the ground, feet hip width apart. Take the shoulders back. Let's breathe in the nose. Let's take the arms up and over the head, little back bend. Take the fingers together and reach it back. And then exhale. Whew. Whew. Open those arms down. Great for the posture, great for the chest, great for the shoulders. And again, reach up, stretching the abdominals, the lower back. Reach back a little further, relax the shoulders. Exhale, open those arms. Good, lots of breath. In the nose, out the nose if you're able. If you find an obstruction in the nostrils, breathe in the nose and out the mouth. Reach back, let's do it one more time. Open those arms. Very good, all right, bring the arms up. Side bend, lace the fingers, press the palms up and let's sway to your right. Take five deep breaths right here. As you inhale, lift a little higher. As you exhale, lengthen in that direction. Great for your sides, for your spine. I do this in the morning when I wake up. And before I go to bed, it's one of those stretches, very unobtrusive. You can do them almost anywhere, the supermarket, Disneyland, at the Great Wall of China, wherever you want to do it. One more breath. Draw those shoulders back. Ah, oh, there it is. Stretch it out. Inhale back to the center. Give yourself a little back bend, shoulders back. Keep those shoulders back so you avoid the rolling of the shoulders, crushing the breath. Let's do five breaths to the other side. Exhale. Good. Roll the shoulder back. You may even give yourself a couple lovely adjustments in the spine. Good. Soften the face. Heart in your heart. Quarter flash. One more time. Really stretch it out right in the lats. I do a lot of pull-ups. I have a pull-up fetish. So these are so nice for stretching those. Again, back bend. And let me show you the cactus arms. You watch my videos, I do these in some of them. You want to open the chest this time, bend the elbows, pull the shoulders back, pull the elbows back like someone's behind you, pulling you back. Should I say pull you back one more time? Great way to open the chest, open your breath, drop the shoulders down, get a lot of breath in there. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift, back bend, and then cactus arms, draw them back. So powerful. Keep the chin tucked a little bit. Just flow through it like a Billy Joel song. All right, come down, walking forward fold. Always teach this in my classes. You're gonna do one leg at a time, add the twist. So bring your knee across, you're actually twisting from right up here. Great way to wring out your sides, all the tension. Perfect for men and women. Stretches don't, they don't discriminate. I mean, they work for everybody. I love that what I teach, what I do can benefit 100% of the population. We just need to modify, add on for people's individual needs. But most of these stretches are just timeless. Our bodies react so well to them when, you're, when they're done with good form. All right, four more steps. <sighs> Twist it out. <sighs> Three, oh, there's a chipmunk and there's Addie over there. She doesn't see it yet. All right, a little flat back. Draw those shoulders back. Big stretch for your spine. Tuck the chin a little bit. Put that orange right there. We got an orange. Don't get an orange, just imagine the orange. Imagine all the oranges. All right, let's take it to a wide-legged 
one. Take the feet out. We're going to dive down. Always important, keep a little softness in the knees and dive down. If the fingers aren't touching the floor, you're going to work on it. It's going to get better. Put the weight forward into the toes. You could also grab the ankles. Just draw down. Each exhale, dip down a little more. You can also take the arms back behind if you like. A little more leverage. Let's do two more breaths. All this in the hamstrings, your bum, your lower back, your spine decompresses. And then take it over onto, I'll mirror you, onto your right leg. Lengthen onto that leg. It's going to be a little shaking going on. As you exhale, you can um, lengthen this leg a little more. Go away, ant. There we go. The ants and spiders love when I do this stuff. All right, let's take it to the other side. Stretch it out. Every exhale, lengthen a little more. Long, lean muscles. So no matter whatever sport or activity you do, activity you do, I say this at every workout, whatever sport, activity you, I can't say activity, activity, and I was a theater major, vocal performance, whatever activity you do, you will enhance it. You'll be looser, you'll be stronger, you'll be faster, faster recovery time, and then bring it back to the center. Whew. And let's slowly rise back up. All right. Shoulders back and down. And, and he's a punk. All right, triangle with a twist. I want you to open up that right foot, pivot the left foot in. This is one I do at the gym a lot in between if I'm lifting weights or pull. I usually do pull ups. I love pull ups, squats, benching, push ups, all that kind of stuff. This is what we're going to do bring this hand down. Take the other arm to your lower back. We're going to open up the chest. Now you can hook that hand right here in that little, that little niche, niche right there, and just open it up. Never underestimate the power of twisting as you open up your spine, your chest, your posture. Squeeze the legs, flex the legs. Triangle twist. And then that feeds right in to the extended triangle, one of my favorites, featured in the book that just happens to be sitting back there. Extend that arm. If you want more, take both the arms out, make it more of a core exercise. But we want to get this big stretch, so keep this left shoulder back. Look up at your armpit. Good, stretch it out, big stretch. Press this hip away. All right, maybe an adjustment happens. Maybe it does, that's included. Let's go back and do the twist on the other side. So triangle fingers here, take the back of the hand to the inside of the leg if you like, and then open, keep the shoulder, take it back. That's a beautiful thing right there, to open up the chest, to facilitate that twist. Facilitate, fantastic, fantastic word. Yeah, that's right, jolly good. I was just watching Time Bandits. <laughs> uh, reminds me of John Cleese's Robin Hood. Jolly good. Hmm. I'll just stop right there. One more breath, my friend. There it is. Open, open, open. Crack it open. And then go to the extended triangle. You stay right there, Addies. Lengthen. Again, both arms up if you want. Space in the chest so the air can flow into those into the diaphragm. The diaphragm is actually what pumps the breath in and out. It's right below your rib cage. So breathe deep. Two more. Alright, bring it up. Do a little side view here. Take your feet a little wider to the outside edges of the mat. A little mudra. Lace the fingers. Love the mudra. Mudra can be done in many different forms. It's one of those few yoga poses you could do anywhere at the supermarket, at the mall, uh, at Krusty Burger, which doesn't exist. And it doesn't look so strange. Who gives a crap? I mean, it, no one else stretches, so might as well stretch. Everyone else is all tight and beat up. 
go over and show them how to stretch. All right, soften those knees. I do that sometimes. Just gentle stretches make all the difference for people. They just don't know. Introduce them. Be stretching ambassadors, strambassadors. Good, exhale, draw those arms back. Open the chest, palms together if you can. Two more breaths. Put the weight forward a little more. Try not to fall forward. You're not a stunt person. Are you a stunt, are you a stunt person? Maybe you are. If you are, that's great. I used to do a lot of stunt work in theater as well. One of my favorites. Firearms, broadswords, all that good stuff. All right, ooh, bring it back up. And let's come down onto the mat for the tortoise. Yes, tortoise. Ugh. Okay, come on down. We got some tortoise action here. Come into a little straddle here. No, that's not right. Fuck, <laughs> let's do that again. All right, come on down. Let's do some tortoise action. Why don't you bring your feet together? We have the butterfly. Butterfly is a very popular pose, of course. Great hip opener, great for releasing the back. Now stay here, I want you, or I want you to walk your feet slightly forward and slide your hands underneath. This is the tortoise. Here's a version of the tortoise. Palms flat and then pull yourself forward. This is one of those that I teach. People just love. I think we all like turtles anyway, but when we can stretch like this, top of the head forward, we feel this in our calves also, in our outer thighs, in our glutes. I won't bore you with where I feel it. Just do it. Experience trumps everything else. Let's do five more deep breaths. Draw the top of the head forward. Good. Use your upper body weight to open up the pose a little bit more. Fantastic. Love doing this in front of the TV at night. Put on movies, put on some Mystery Science Theater 3000. I love old movies. I was, have a whole Cary Grant collection I was, I've been watching. Oh, such a great way to spend the evening, and I do work. All right, come out to the straddle here. So I'm working, I'm reading, I'm writing. Very productive at night, and then I just multitask. I add the stretches in, so I'm in like straddle stretch right here, and I can just come down, I can write, I can read. It's a big stretching celebration. Speaking of stretching, let's stretch forward. Can't beat the straddle stretch. Bring the fingers down wherever they land. Take an inhale, every exhale, walk forward a little more. This is one I've been working on. It was very tight at first. The more I do it, of course, the looser it gets. I like to move a little within it. A little movement, unlock all that potential, those little hidden knots, those nooks and crannies. If you want to get a little deeper, take the arms or hands underneath the legs. Let's see if I got this one today. And hinge forward. Oh, that really puts some good Good time stretch on those hips and the groin area. The groin, yes. Let's do five more deep breaths. Really dig into that breath. Feel it loosen up. Hi, Annie. Woo! Fantastic. Flush out those toxins. One more breath. Okay. Oh. Curl my milk there. All right, let's bring it over onto this right leg. Big stretch. I like to grab, if you're more flexible, if you're working on it, grab that opposite. The, I'm sorry, the outside of the foot and just draw yourself. Oh, there's a pine needle in me. Draw yourself out to the side so you're stretching out this direction. And whose dog might you be? Funny, I live in Colorado. A lot of people smoke grass. She eats grass. I think she gets a buzz from it also. Then she eats all the Doritos. Which is a lie, I don't have Doritos. That's a lie. All right, let's bring it up and over to the other side. Here we go, onto the leg, or take the hand to the outside, because you want something to work towards, always working forward. That never give up in stretching. Every breath brings a little bit of more movement, a little bit more movement, 
more openness, more release, more youth. This is fearless. I love this right here in my lats too, because I do a lot of pull-ups. As I said, I have a pull-up obsession. You name it, I've done it. I've been put in jail before for pull-ups. I don't care, I'm gonna keep doing them. All right, bring it back to the center. Once more, let's walk it forward into our straddle with a little movement side to side. Maybe I'll do a whole series of these, my personal, because people always ask what I do. I teach a lot of different kind of things, and anything I teach, I do. I would never teach something or film something that I, I wouldn't do myself. It's kind of a rule with me. What am I doing? Like that. <laughs> Good. Dig fingers in, walk forward a little more. That's the good stuff right there. That's stuff that helps you sleep better, you move so much better, any sport, any activity. Do it so much more fluid. And you'll do it longer. The more flexibility you have in your body, the more apt you are to do something for a longer period of time. When you're doing it or for more and more years, you just add on. Add on to your longevity. All right, bring it up. Well, let's do one more. This one, uh, this one gets people a lot. It's called the fire law. It might just be your doom. We'll see. <laughs> Take your left leg on top of the right thigh. Let me put on my yoga voice now. This is my, my classical music voice. That was the overture from Cozy Fantuti by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. All right, so you have this here. If this is enough right here, I want you to just take the hand, gently press it. You're gonna open up this hip. More flexible, turn off this leg, this knee right here, and walk forward. See, put a book or magazine right here, you're all set. Good, and, and of course, move a little bit in it. Discover it, explore it. Be the, be the Columbo of your own body. There's one more thing. I'm going to walk out to the right here. It's not that bothers me. Fire log. By the way, I have the whole Columbo collection. I put that on at night sometimes too. Just fantastic. Fantastic. Ausgezeichnet. it. Excellent. Good. One more breath. You have no idea, my friend. You have no idea how much this is going to help how you move, how you feel. How you look, because when you're, you know, released, I mean, think about how you carry yourself if your back gets really tight, if you feel really tight, something happens to you, an injury, how you carry yourself, the energy you give off. And then think about when you feel loose, when you roll out of bed in the morning, you just feel great. That energy that you give, that feeling that you have, is just intoxicating. That is what I live for every day of my life. Since I was, I don't know, two years old. Before two, I didn't care. Two years old, that changed everything when I was living in Manhattan Beach, California. Had to go to Disneyland. All right, here we are, we have fire log. This video could be about three hours long. I, I love sharing these with you. I want you to add them to your arsenal because I know how they work. I've learned them from other people. I've learned them from obs you know, observing, from exploring myself in my own stretching routines. So it's my pleasure to tell you about them so you could experience the same benefits. Don't want to keep it a secret. Don't hide the lamp. Let the lamp shine. Okay. Okay. All right, there's your fire log. Shake out the legs. We'll just call it quits right there. Some of my favorite personal stretches right now that I've been doing. How'd this book get here? Make sure you head out, get a copy of my new book, Power Yoga for Athletes from Fairwinds Press, over 100 poses, training logs for every major sport, um, and there's 25 full workouts in here. And, you know, I'm just a busy bee lately. I've, I've really enjoyed writing books for you, so check out my two new eBooks. We got, I don't know where they are, Pilates for Men, and also 30 Days of Planks, full 30-day plank program. And I'm already, I have three more books in the works. I love this. We're doing paperback books. We're doing eBooks. So don't miss a thing. Keep going to SeanVeekFitness.com. Subscribe to this channel. Like. Comment below, which stretch of these do you like? Which stretch do you do every day? Which one has had the biggest impact on your life? I'd love to hear that because I'll definitely include it in more of my workouts in the workout videos to come on this channel. <laughs>